Yo, 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 what up, what up, people? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, guys, you know, I wanted to tell you, uh, when it comes to you going out here and talking to women, trying to get with girls, never feel like you need to compete with other men for women. You do not need to one-up some guy. You do not need to try to, you know, uh, be look flyer than some dude or try to look better than some guy or try to, you know, uh, 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 sound better than some guy. Whatever it is, you don't compete for women. Never compete for women. Do not do that. The reason why you do not need to do that is because you are unique. You are the only one in the world who is you. Therefore, you do not have to compete because there is no competition. I talked about this in my um in my DVD, How to Pick Up and Date Multiple Women seminar. So make sure you guys get that. Go to MrLocario.com. Get that DVD. Pick that up ASAP. But anyway, the thing is, you know, a lot of guys think that, you know, they go to these clubs, they go to these bars, they go to these parties... And they think they need to compete with other men for women, for women, for women's attention. They feel like, you know, well, there's all these other guys here, so I need to, uh, you know, make myself seem cooler than them. Or sometimes guys will be in a situation and they see a chick that they like and then, you know, another guy comes in a situation or he's like in the spot. And then, you know, they think, oh, this guy's better looking than me, so she's going to like him more or whatever. Or a guy who might be at a party, he's talking to a girl. And then another guy comes and then he starts talking to her at the same time and they're in a conversation and now he feels like he needs to compete with this other guy for this girl's attention. Do not ever compete to get women because you do not need to. If that woman is into you, she will like you because you are you and the other guy is not you. It's really that simple. There's no uh, where else she can go to get another you. There's no you store that she can go and get a an extra copy of you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So you have to understand your value. You have to understand that you're valuable, that you bring certain things to the table that nobody else on this earth can bring. You understand? There is no competition. So you don't have to worry about that. A lot of times, you know, I've been in situations where I'll be talking to a girl, I'll be at a bar, I'm at an event, networking party, whatever it is. And, you know, we, I'm talking to a girl and then another guy comes through. And, I, you know, I, I usually encourage the guys to come into the conversation because I'll be seeing sometimes I'll be standing. You know, I, I see a hot chick and then I see guys trying to, you know, they're looking at her or whatever. But then they're too scared to go and talk to her. So I'm talking to her and I see the other guy looking still in her direction. So then I, I pull the guy. I say, yo, come over here, you know, and I, I bring him into the conversation. You know, and I can tell he's into her or whatever. And sometimes I'll leave the conversation and let him talk to her. You understand? And the funny part is, is that sometimes these chicks, you know, sh she might be into me and then she'll she'll be talking to him for a little bit. But then she'll come back around and try to find me in the party and tries to talk back to me because she wanted to talk to me. You understand? So, you know, I have th there's no problem with me introducing other guys to chicks and trying to include everybody and you know trying to hook this person up with that person because i'm just chilling because the thing is is that if a chick wants me she has to come and get me it's really that simple and you have to understand that aspect of the game whenever you're in a situation where there's other guys do not feel like you have to compete and you know one up some dude or try to you know act this way or show out and do all this other shit because the thing is when you do that a lot of chicks also can notice that and they can see that you're trying hard to impress her you understand what I'm saying? When you don't need to do that. You just need to chill and be yourself and be who you are. And if she's into you, she will want to fuck with you. You don't got to compete with these other dudes because there is no competition. These other guys are not like you. These other guys are not you. So if she likes you, she needs to holler at you. I really needed to, 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 to drill this concept into your mind until you get it. I've said this a lot of times. It's not the first time I'm saying this, but a lot of times I see guys still, you know, trying to compete, trying to, you know, uh, 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 like show off and, and be cooler than the next guy. And I'm just like, yo, stop that shit. It's embarrassing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just chill, be who, be you, be who you are. And that is that. That's enough. There is no competition. If she wants you, she's going to holler. All right. So that is it. 
Um, guys, make sure go to go to mrlocario.com, get my DVD, how to pick up and date multiple women seminars. You can get some more game. Make sure you also join my membership program. Click on the membership tab on mrlocario.com and become a member. You get 45 to 90 minute audios exclusive every month, and it's awesome. All right, so I'm out of here. And if you guys have any questions, hit me up at ask. Mr. Locario at gmail.com. All right, I'll talk to you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.